Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a free to play series free to play series part 55. We're at come at me. Uh reversing Ander. Now this map I'm not a huge fan of it. I think it's very difficult. Especially if your opponent has access to like Evo 2.0 or Repeller. Um oh, we're gonna go ahead and start with an unbearable. He's gonna start with the creep. Which is pretty annoying when you know, when you have like a any undead foe, but really creep is just really annoying to play against. He starts off pretty aggressive, but I mean, I don't really care if he has to creep. He can poison our unbearable if he wants. We're gonna bring out the Hevo. We need him to help contest stuff on the top portion of the map. I don't want him capturing these panic points, you know, for free. So he's not gonna get the creep poison off just yet. Which is good for us. It's gonna allow our unbearable to actually move up. Further up on the map for free. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna move our unbearable up in the middle of the map. Unbearable is such a great phobie. He's just super tanky. He has, you know, that built-in lifesteal, so it makes him hard to kill. And we're gonna bring our Jar Cannon Cassowary. We're getting ready to kill his Inoculus. Uh, that's definitely our main target here. Inoculus is just amazing support phobie. Hard to kill at most times, but it's actually gonna foil our plan by bringing out a tiny Tim, so that is unfortunate for us. However, he only has one range phobie out, so we'll actually be able to kill off his snowball here with our unbearable. Go ahead, push out our Hevo as well. Bully his creep, that's definitely our number one option that we want to get rid of. And we're gonna bring out a fetch. That way we can move his we can push his tiny sim right into the disease if he decides to keep it there. We're gonna punish his plays. The fetch allows us to punish his play of using his tiny tim as a bodyguard for his inoculus. I also left my my jar cannon wide open so if he wants to move up with his inoculus or tiny team to kill my jar cannon he's gonna find himself uh either losing a tiny team or his inoculus he's gonna finally let off with the creep poison but i mean that's okay with me and it's also gonna bring out our shipping gas again fine with me so we're gonna go ahead, push the tiny Tim into the freaking disease. That man is so annoying. Go ahead, kill off his creep, kill off his cowbell here. Start bullying his shipping gas with our char cannon. And let's see what we bring out. We're gonna bring out our murder wing. Uh, and right now he's gonna have a hard time killing anything. Uh, his tiny Tim, we brought it down pretty low. He'll be able to... Okay, so now he just lifts it up, so... Now we should have a pretty easy time killing it next turn, I believe. He's gonna bring out his own jar cannon. So there goes our fetch, right? Really, only use we got a fetch right there was... Diseasing his tiny Tim, which is pretty huge. Unfortunately, due to the level differences, I think... Actually, yeah, what level is this thing? Level 13. What levels are unbearable? I don't know. I'll probably pop it up. But due to the level differences, our shipping gas, or our unbearable didn't live. But that's okay. We got a shipping gas at least, and we did, crippled his tiny Tim, so it won't be as effective now. And we're going to bring out a Sparky. You know, our main goal here has been trying to get rid of his inoculus, but we haven't had we haven't been having much success. He's gonna bring out the blue Leon. Pretty good foe, definitely one of the best healers in this game. However, this guy we are gonna take advantage of the fact that this guy only has one range unit, which is his or no two is uh, inoculus. And Jarkan, both of which very squishy units. And right here, we're gonna choose our Sparky to body block with. 
forcing him to move back with his inoculus. Because he can't kill it off uh, due to his lack of uh, range unit. But he's gonna get the healing spa off. And see, we don't even lose anything from that plate because Inaculus also only has a movement of one tile. So he has to fall back all the way. Otherwise, we just kill it off next turn. So definitely a really good play on my end. And right here, we do have control of the whole map. We're gonna go ahead, just take two hits off on his uh, on his tiny Tim. Two hits on a on his. What's that dude called? Julian. And I think we're gonna be able to kill out his tiny Tim here. So definitely good for us. He's gonna have a hard time killing anything here. We're gonna bring out Amon Crushmore. If we're able to seal off this little this little um tile right here in between the healing spawn and the blue land, we'll be we'll be pretty good. So he's gonna get a thousand damage off on our Sparky, which is a bit unfortunate, but check this out guys. Because he's not gonna be able to kill off our our gargoyles here, we're gonna be in a really good position. And we're gonna abuse his uh, healing spot. So we're gonna use his healing spot to heal our own Sparky. Finally kill off his inoculus. And we're gonna petrify here with our gargoyles. Again, guys, if you guys are unaware of this, Gargoyle, Gargoyle Petrify kind of works like an obstacle in the scent. But the cool thing here is we can actually hit his bow mangles through our Gargoyles, but he can't hit us with our Gargoyles. I mean, with uh, he can't hit our Sparky with his bow mangles, which is something that's really neat. So. He's definitely gonna need a reposition with his bow mangles, or else next turn I'm just gonna be able to easily kill his bow mangles. And like I said, we're just gonna get the the obstacle on the obstacle from the Mount Crushmore, and we have no more keys left, so we do wanna use our phobies to the best of our ability. But I don't see this guy making a comeback. We're on his healing spa. Um. He can't finish off our, our Sparky here. At least I don't think so. Let me double check. Oh no, he can, I think. But he chooses not to for some reason. So there goes his boom angles. We're actually gonna move our Sparky back. I don't want it to die just yet. Yeah, there goes his boom angles. Get a hit off on his jar cannon. That way we'll be able to snipe it later on if we need to with our own jar cannon. Unless of course he plays a healing spot, but I mean it he needs to do something. Like we're at his heart, we control all panic points. I don't know why he took a hit at that and then <laughs> just decided to destroy it. But hey, it's whatever. There goes the healing spa. But that's fine, because it doesn't heal enough to bring him back to full HP. So next turn, we'll actually just be able to shoot at it with our Mount Crush more, and then move back as well. If we need to. Which we might not. We might just stay here and kill his, uh... Oh, did you kill his see poison ivy. Fly? And I mean, that's pretty much GG. Uh... I'd say we definitely took advantage early game by him only having the inoculus as a as the range unit, right? And we took advantage of our unbearable high HP and Hebo high HP to be able to just like tank our way through. And ever since then this guy ever since this guy lost uh what's it called? Map pressure, we've pretty much just been steamrolling him. Our Gargoyles and Sparky definitely MVP of these matches. That's why I like Sparky guys more than Ray Chargles and Temptress. Yeah, he caused 7 keys, which is a pretty insane amount. But him being so tanky just allows you to 
use it. Allows him much more versatility than those other phobies. Allows him to live situations where he wouldn't normally live. So you could place him in like riskier areas and gain much better rewards out of it. As opposed to Ray Chargos and Temptress. They only have 1200 HP. They would have died a long time ago. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this match, guys. For this video, rather. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.